Years back, I received a draft of a PhD thesis. A sociologist was comparing a Thai temple in Philadelphia to a Western-style Buddhist meditation center in Cambridge, and she was commenting on the decor, saying that the meditation center was much more in line with Buddhist principles. Everything was very simple, very, very clean, whereas the Thai temple was full of clutter. The altars were just full of all kinds of Buddha images and other things, which to her didn't seem to be a very Buddhist principle. And I wrote back to her and said, look, you're a sociologist. You should be thinking about the sociology behind the choices. Why was that center designed that way? Why is the temple cluttered with things? And the clutter comes from people's generosity. In other words, there's no one in charge. Everything is voluntary. There's no one person in charge saying, this has to be like this, this has to be like that. Everything we have here at a monastery is the result of people's generosity. This is what generosity looks like. One time, when I was at Wadasokara, the monk who was looking after the sala was complaining to me there was just a lot of stuff on the shelves around the Buddha image. And so we decided to remove some of the stuff and put it in a vault underneath the Buddha image. Well, within one week, all the empty spaces had been filled up again. So as today as we clean up the sala, it may seem like a lot of things to polish, a lot of things to dust. Remember that we're the stewards of other people's generosity. Every item on the altar tables, every item on the shelves around the Buddhas. The result of people's generosity, they wanted to give. And so we're basically playing a part in their generosity, which means it becomes part of our generosity, too. Years back, when I was first in Thailand, I visited a village monastery. I noticed that some of the buildings were getting run down, and nobody seemed to be repairing them. And I asked, you know, why isn't anybody repairing them? And the response was, well, those buildings were somebody else's generosity. They're going to wait for some, somebody else to build a new building in their place, which is very short-sighted. They were afraid that all the merit would still go to the original donor. That's not the case. When you look after somebody else's generosity, that becomes your generosity, too. It's one of the reasons why One of the reasons why traditionally they say that when you keep a monastery clean, it adds to your discernment. Sweeping around the monastery, cleaning things up. The reward for that act of merit is discernment. Because you're keeping the place new. This evening when the sala is cleaned, we'll have a, a new sala without having to go to all the expense of building a new sala. taking care of the generosity that other people gave. That's how we make it new. This is one of the ways we show our gratitude for what other people have given us as a community. We all pitch in, help one another. As they say, many hands make light work. We'll all have a piece of that, the merit that comes, the happiness that comes in knowing that you've given something. You've contributed to a larger group effort. And this is how generosity gets maintained in the world.